uh, today is August 27th. It is Saturday. Um, I am about seven weeks out from when I started my chemo. I finished my four cycles of the Red Devil chemo, also known as AC. Uh, so those are the four cycles that were two weeks apart and they were going to be the most aggressive, really hard chemo to get through. So I'm really, really excited that I am done. It was extremely difficult towards the last two treatments. The symptoms just got worse and lasted longer and so it was it was a lot of down days and a lot of um, hard days being so sick feeling so sick and just being confined to your bed because for me I had extreme nausea and really bad migraines and I also had really bad muscle and bone pain just kind of radiating through my lower back and my legs and hips. Um, I'm not sure if it's from the chemo or if it's from the grass to fill injection. Anyways, I'm just glad that those four treatments are finished and I can go on to the next phase. Uh, so I do have an appointment with my oncologist coming up next week and we're gonna go over the next 12 cycles that I have to do. Um, it's going to be Taxol, so it's supposed to be easier on you. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I will do 12 cycles and I will do them weekly, so there won't be a two week gap anymore. It'll be every single week. Um, it's going to be intense, it's going to be busy. My weeks, I feel like, are just going to fly by with having blood work every week and chemo every week, but um, I just really am looking forward to this next phase and I'm really celebrating the wins, which I think is super important, uh, especially in, if you're going through something like this, I think it's really important that you do celebrate the little things and the little wins. So for me, it is completing those four cycles of AC and going on to bigger and better things. Updates on my symptoms. Um, you can see I'm still bald, but I have not lost my eyebrows or my lashes, which is shocking. I still have lash extensions on, so my natural lashes are not falling out. So um, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I'm grateful that they haven't yet. I have a constant runny nose. Um, I've lost all the hair inside my nostrils. So I feel like I just have a constant nose drip, which is, frustrating but um, other than that I've lost all the hair on my body so I guess the lashes and eyebrows are last to go I've heard so I will let you know but it's been seven weeks since I started chemo and I have not lost my lashes or eyebrows another side effect uh, is I've had really bad hyperpigmentation all over my face uh, it's kind of like melasma going up my cheeks and nose and into my forehead. Um, I had a few freckles before I started any treatment, but never ever this bad. So that's been kind of hard to deal with. I know it may not seem like a lot to people, but um, you know, I've, I've had IPL, like in, intense pulse laser treatment to get rid of blemishes and dark spots so to have all this hyperpigmentation and to just kind of look at yourself and not recognize yourself has been difficult it's it's hard when you feel really gross too and you feel so sick and so ill and you look in the mirror and you see this version of yourself that you don't recognize and you feel out of your own body sort of it's hard to kind of accept and hard to still keep a positive mindset and remind yourself like this is just a temporary phase this is just a temporary you and you will come out of it feeling like yourself again and looking like yourself again but um it was really hard it was really really it's been really hard <laughs> i will not lie it's been difficult and you have these days and moments when you walk past a 
you know, your reflection and then you get a glimpse of yourself and you think, who, who is that person? Or it just kind of uh, catches you off guard. Cause sometimes I forget I'm, I'm bald and I've been bald for five weeks and sometimes I still forget and it's, it's really weird. After my treatments, um, I, I feel super bloated too and I'm retaining so much fluid um, that everything is just puffy and swollen and my, my ring doesn't fit me properly and I have, you know, indents around my ankles from socks and things like that. So, you know, you just, you feel shitty and then you look shitty. It's, uh, it's hard to, it's hard to see yourself like that. But um, I have really exciting news. I have a few things that are super exciting that have happened in the last few weeks. Um, so first of all, the tumor in my breast has completely shrunk. I can barely even feel it now. I can't see it, uh, which is amazing. So an almost two centimeter size tumor has shrank from four treatments of chemo. I'm just, I'm just so grateful that it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Another exciting announcement is I'm going to be participating in the CIBC Run for Cure event, which is October 2nd. Um, it's actually happening in every city across Canada um, on October 2nd, and you can join. I have started my own team. It's called Team Terza. Um, you can find the link below. I'll also put it on my social media, but if you want to join, you can participate in any city and join my team. I also made some cute little t-shirts. I took it upon myself to kind of motivate people to sign up and join. You definitely don't have to be a runner. I am not going to be running. I'm going to be walking. Uh, and they've also asked me to speak at the event about my story. And I'm just honored that they have asked me to tell my story and bring awareness. Um, I think that's the most important thing and that's why I am doing these videos and that's why I'm sharing, you know, my personal experience because I really do want to get it across that this does happen to young women. And uh, even since I started sharing everything, the amount of young women that have reached out to me and messaged me and we've talked, sharing their stories, telling me how they found out that they had cancer. A lot of these women are under 40 and um, I think it really needs to be discussed more. I've also been asked to speak at the C95 Marathon for Breast Cancer Research on October 20th. I am so honored to be a part of this major, major event for Saskatoon. Um, all the fundraising proceeds go to the Saskatchewan Cancer Foundation. The C95 Marathon has already raised over $5.3 million in all the years that they've done it. And this year I'll be speaking on my story, bringing awareness for more young women. Make sure you check the link below that I am going to share about this event if you can listen, uh, come to the event. I'm going to put all the details below on my social media as well. This is a really, really important event for women and for our community. So I'm just really honored to be a part of it. And, um, you know, again, just bring awareness. Make sure that women out there know the stats and know that one in eight women will get breast cancer and know that it's more common than you think. And I'm 36 and here I am talking about breast cancer, which I never thought in a million years that I would be in this situation. Um, I just want women to catch it early and take control of their health and their bodies and do self exams and push your doctors to get those mammograms if you feel something, even if you're under 40 and even if it's not recommended and even if you don't have anyone in your family with a history of it, you know your body. You know that this is a common, common problem with women under 40 and uh, until we can figure out a cure or the reason why, all we can do is kind of take charge and early detection 
is all that we can really hope for. But other than that, um, life has been good. I, I can't really complain. I, I know it sounds weird. I'm, I'm going through chemo and the hardest time in my life, but life is still really good. And I think that's what's really important is for people to always remind themselves of what they are grateful for and it could always, always be worse. So I'm really, really grateful for the amount of support I have received. Um, I'm so grateful for every single person who's reached out to me, who sent me a message, who has sent me a gift. I've had people send me, you know, gifts in the mail and um, it just means so much to me. It really keeps me motivated to keep sharing my story and keep being really open and honest. Um, sometimes it's really not easy for me to be as open about the, the hard stuff and the, and the tough days. I know it seems like I have no problem sharing, um, but sometimes it has been hard and I know that it's important though. It can't all be smiles and good days and, and positive things because people also want the truth and it's hard and it's um, a lot of down days and a lot of moments where you need to really build yourself up in your mind and going through cancer is hard and I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that it's easy and it's really hard when you're alone. Um, I think people don't realize when you go through cancer as much support as you have from your spouse or your family or your friends, you're doing it all by yourself. And you are the only one that knows what is going on in your head, in your mind, uh, the thoughts that you have, the struggles that you maybe face. And there's a lot of moments where you are by yourself. You know, your spouse still has to go to work and your kids have to go to school and everyone carries on and has to live their life and there's a lot of moments where you're by yourself and there's a lot of moments where I'm in this bed with Bella but by myself alone with my thoughts so I've said it before and I think it's the only thing that's keeping me going is being really positive and having a, a mindset of what you're grateful for and keeping a goal that is ahead of you. So right now, my goal is to kick this next phase of chemo, get through it, and then I'm gonna have a little celebration. And then after that will be my surgery and getting through that. But little steps, one, one at a time. If you look at the whole picture, it can be so overwhelming and you can kind of feel defeated. But little wins, and it's the little wins that make you feel really good and give you a boost. And uh, I think that's super important to get through it. And for me, talking to other women who are going through the same thing um, has been really helpful too, because at the end of the day, nobody really, really understands what you're going through unless they've gone through the same thing and even then it might be a different experience, but it's important whatever you do is to have that little goal, even if it's a goal per day of today, I'm gonna go for a little walk around the block. Today, I'm gonna take a shower. Even little ones like that are, are celebrations and wins. But uh, that's my update. Otherwise, everything's good and um, just enjoying the last few days of summer here before school starts and before winter starts because I live in Saskatchewan so who knows that could be next week but um, I just want to say thank you again for listening and tuning in and supporting me following me and um, I really really hope that this helps someone out there who needs it